Be deep to the bumpers for the ball. Twenty five. Also the twenty five. Throw again, please, Anastasia to focus. Twenty five. Also the twenty five. Throw again, please. Dieter's going first. Outside the 25. 25, Anastasia has won the ball. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. First leg, Anastasia to the first game on. So, welcome to this morning's screening of the. England match play, our second edition, and the first time we've had eight ladies in the draw. We've had four Ballsy. last year. And as I mentioned on the stage, what a terrific match to get things underway. You can see how tightly, uh, well, match they are. It's going to be a really close match. They, they took long enough just to bull up. So uh, we're going to enjoy this one. And 60. alongside me, as he has been through most of the events yesterday here in Selsey, is my fellow referee, my colleague, Nick Rolls. Good morning, Richard. Thank you for that. Yes, what a way to start. What a game to start the day. It's going to be a long day, but um, there, there's going to be some fabulous starts. And, uh, uh, yeah, the world number one and the world champion. <laughs> it doesn't get better than that. Perfect. Anastasia just doing some repairs, as we saw in the last shot. She uh, a lovely Robin Hood shot. <laughs> Don't get any extra points for that, sadly. 60. Maybe we could introduce that. A new one for the darts world. No, the only compliment is good grouping, that's it. <laughs> and you're going to guarantee good grouping with these two. Yes, but very true. My mind goes back straight away to, I think it was the England Open 100. final on this stage that these two played out last year. One of the best matches I personally have refereed in the ladies' game. Anastasia was the champion at the England Open last year and Dieter won it this time around. 41. I remember that game. It was an absolutely fantastic game. I think this is... Anastasia won it on a 1-2-1 one, one finish on the ball, yep. if, if I remember right. That does ring true with me as well. It's the best of seven legs. So uh, winning the ball, we talk nice. about so often being important. Getting the throw, albeit if we do go to three legs all, we do pull up again, which I think that's the case, isn't it? It is. I need to know that for when I refer. Okay. <laughs> 59. Yeah, we will be working you both on stage and off. Indeed. Really love these tournaments as well. The, the, the players enjoy them as well, which which is obviously really, really important. We've got a, a good practice area as well with um, some good practice boards behind us that you guys can't see. So the EDO have listened to what the players wanted from the last tournament where they suggested that one, maybe one practice board wasn't enough and they've got three this time, so that's really good for the game. Yeah, there's a lot of darts to be played out today on the stage. Mm. Um, we're, of course, in the England match play event all throughout the morning until around two o'clock this afternoon. We'll take a short break and then we will get underway with the England Classic hey, Finals, what? the open event that's been played out across the weekend. We'll have the finals of triples, which is being played this morning in the other room of the ladies and men's pairs, a youth event, and also 100. the main Did event, which is the ladies singles and the men's singles. Did you with a chance on 104? Playing the 18s. I think that's 36, isn't it? Yeah. 56. 56 scores. And it's easy to require 141. And Anna on the finish, always associated with the nine data. 141. Seven. DT require 48. Dita, uh, sorry, Anna coming back with a wry grin on her face there. With seven, she knows that that wasn't, <laughs> wasn't what she wanted. I don't think Dieter wanted an eight necessarily. Maybe it was just closer to the 16 one than she would have. Preferred. 38. And it says you require 134. 34. Yeah, it's unusual trying the 17s route. Two triple 17s leave double 16. 
94. A little bit of thinking and also the setup there with the 217s on the treble. Yes. Another uh, shot on the first leg, Dieter Hedman. Second leg, Dieter to go first. Game on. So Dieter ste stealing the darts uh, first leg. Pleased to get that one. Always difficult when you lose the ball. Albeit seven legs, so plenty of time to come back. Talking of the one, uh, the two treble seventeens. Uh, another one along that line would be one four two. Some players now try two treble seventeens and double top. Forty one. Albeit on one three four. Two single seventeens, as Richard said, followed by the the treble twenty does leave you in a really good position on double top. I think they just do it to confuse us referees, to be fair. We're looking at treble 20, and here they hit the board and wonder where it's gone. And it's in the treble 17, and you start wondering what the players are doing. 46. So lots to contend with for the players today in terms of the length of time they'll be on stage, because some of the players, of course, that are playing in this morning's Invitational England match play 81. are also taking part in the semi-finals of the singles of the England Classic later yes. on today. Mm. It's got to be hard to judge for the guys as well because their, their preparation in whatever format it may, may take, you're never quite sure how long the game's going to be. So if, if for argument's sake this were a 4-0 game, that's a lot different to a 4-3 game and the players that are coming up next for uh, James Wilson and for Mark McGuinney, they... You know, their, their preparation depends on. 180! Just break in as Dieter puts herself right back into this leg and we're right in control of it with that 180. Yeah, the, the preparation is really crucial for the guys. I think Dieter will go conventional 140 out shot, two treble 20s and a double 10. Another way of that's been being used recently has been two treble 18s and a double 16 on 140, which is a different way of going. Is that your way, Nick? I would throw the first dart and see where it lands and go from there. I think it's probably the best way of describing my darts. So for a 2 0 lead, clear nickel. In the early stages, Dieter looking the stronger of the two. Certainly very clinical. 85. So the other ladies in the world match play. Today, England match play. It's not that. Sorry. Big. World match play. <laughs> England match 95. play. We have um, Lisa Ashton and Fallon Sherrick. Trina Gulliver will play Paula Jacklin and Zoe Jones will play Maggie Sutton. So those are the eight ladies that are taking part in the competition this morning. And we'll be playing a ladies game followed by men's, followed by ladies, followed by men's, and you can probably work out the rest. Sixty. It's about to say Anna's turn to fill the, the treble bed, but uh, she'll take that 140, good yeah. 170 points in front the of scoring here. scoring just hasn't been as it usually is for Anastasia. We noticed it yesterday on the internet lane for the England Classic that Anna's score was a little yes. bit lower than we, we used to see. Yeah, yeah. I had a conversation with the guys yesterday that playing a bit of soft tip at the moment in different countries, and I'm wondering whether that's having an effect on... Things. Stephen Bunting hasn't got quite as far. Listen, I'm not saying for one minute that he's not doing well because he's still getting quarterfinals and semi finals and he's losing 5 4. But when they're playing soft tip, I wonder whether it just has a little effect on, on the way they throw their darts or what they're thinking is. You don't see many of the tennis players playing badminton, do you? <laughs> is that the same analogy? <laughs> There we go. That's a great shot. A lovely 15-dollar finish there from Anna. 
So yeah, just about to say that. That'll uh, that'll give her the confidence. I knew you were going to say it, so I stepped in. Not that Anna needs confidence. Very confident girl. Confident in her own ability. And quite rightly so. 55. It would be fair to say that these two ladies consider two of the big three in ladies' dance. Trina Gulliver is also involved in this tournament and could meet one of these in the final. But these days, Nick, the ladies' game is so much stronger than it's ever been, I believe. Oh couldn't agree with you more I couldn't agree with you more there's um, we were talking last night that Lakeside now moves up to 16 ladies and uh, a great opportunity so, so to a certain degree more players coming out onto the tour because they recognize there's eight more places to fight for at Lakeside so yeah, and right now looking at the the list as we were last night the players in 10th 11th 12th have all got something to come to these tournaments for so that's great for the game and again, we were saying yesterday that the better players you play against has got to improve your game. 80. But um, Rachel Brooks not in this competition, but has had a sensational season, and she's in the 100 tournament later on today. Yeah, she's going to feature in the semi-finals of the England Classic later on. And when you think in, in that England classic, Fallon Sherrick, Lisa Ashton didn't make the quarterfinals. So the rain fallen went out at the quarterfinal stage. As did this lady. Mm. Well, not that one, the other one. No. <laughs> Anastasia went out yesterday in the quarterfinal stages, but it's good to see her here in the England match play on show on stage. Yes. Shot <laughs> great well, shot. Great to see darts like that on the show as well. Another 15 darter. So Anna's, Anna's average is now just very, very slightly above Dieter's, but um, clinical finishing and has means, means that De Dieter is one leg away from victory. When you look at the averages, uh, we, we'll always use a sort of a benchmark of a three dot average of 90 for the in the men's game of, yes. of quality darts. I always look at the ladies' game. They're just below the 80 mark. And if they're averaging 80, you've got a proper game of darts yep, up there. Yep. And there we go, Dieter now up to 82. So for those that play in the county system, a, a, 27, a 27 average in the ladies' game is a... I'm not saying a rarity now. It, two or three years ago, you, the, the lady that won the county... Averages over a, a weekend would we'll probably have a 27, but I think Dieter and Anna have both got over 30 consistently now. Yeah, and you can see it there. The average is rising all the time. Uh, they've both found the treble. I'm hoping Anna takes it today just so that we can get a bit more oh, of I'm the just match. About to say the same thing. Absolutely. Because they both started tentatively. It is an early start for them. They're right into their game now. Pair of them look. 100. And good grouping around the treble as well now. Some of the players can get up and just throw their darts, and others prefer the afternoon stroke evening to play. 43. DT require 161. Gary Thompson was saying to me earlier, I oh, don't do this morning. <laughs> I don't think he does mornings full stop, is he? <laughs> I'm sure Gary won't mind me saying. 100, and a CC require 137. Big out shot, and with Dieter sitting on 61. 81. 81. DT require 61. It's definitely a handy place, but with Dieter now 61 the out shot. He's gone for the 25 minutes 17, so 44. So Dieter a 12 or a 4. On the 12 route, double 16. 45. So, and it's easy you require 56. And are now on 56. Two darts, a double top. 
Gage yes. on the fifth leg. Anastasia the brother Sloper. And I'm winning the fifth Six leg. Sixth leg, teacher to the first game on. You got your wish, Richard. Well, if they're going to play at this standard, we could watch it all day. Mm, very much so. Sixty. <laughs> thing I'll always say about these two is not just the ability, very competitive. Oh, very much so. It's a lot of edge up there. Mm. 121. Well, it's about now they start jousting, if that's the right word, for the windmill. Um, and then, of course, lakeside. And just whoever goes into those competitions, I've, been, I've just beaten that person or I'm in a little bit of form. 139. Great darts from Dieter. you joust with darts? They're just about the right size, aren't they? <laughs> 31. a 30-point lead plus these and plonk in the first arc. Nicely in the treble. 100. Yeah, this looks good now for Dieter Hebben. We reached the final of this event last year. Lost out to Zoe Jones, who we will be seeing later on. 60. Looking good here once again to progress. Yes. Average now 28 per dart. Mm -hmm. 100. Great performance from Dieter Hedman. 100. Hello to Anna needs a maximum just to get the three points in front. And Dieter would then still have three darts to finish. 102. 100. Good dance, Mama. 102. 102. The finishing has been lethal, so. Look at 42 on the ball. On the ball route, so 17 for tops. 62. Forty-one. Did you require forty? So three darts, double top to take Dieter into the Game match play semi-final with a twenty-eight average. Dieter does make it into the match play semi-final. Well, ladies and gentlemen, a terrific match to start off our stage proceedings. Today, and if you were lucky enough to arrive here early, you'll have seen a great spectacle both of the ladies around the 80 mark in the three dot average all the way through that match. Uh, we're going to see off uh, this lady here, our three times reigning Lakeside World Champion. Wish her all the best for the rest of the season, ladies and gentlemen. Anastasia, the brother Slova. <laughs> Anna's average 79.88. And through to our semi finals of the Windmill England match play with an average of 84.69, it is Peter Hedman.